Good morning everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. We are actually not feeling well. Lily has a throat ache. Ollie's been throwing up since this morning. I've been throwing up since yesterday. It's been a crazy, chaotic time. Um, I seriously thought I was pregnant <laughs> and took a bunch of pregnancy tests. They all came up negative. Then I took a COVID test. They came up negative. Uh, so I'm assuming that it's a stomach bug, but Ollie's been throwing up nonstop since like, five in the morning um he's not keeping anything down i luckily ate a bagel and that's not causing any issues right now lily got some tylenol to help with her throat so we're all pretty much just chilling here and hopefully it gets a little bit better bless you um ollie is completely naked just chilling on the couch um under his blanket because he just keeps vomiting everywhere i have <sighs> A pot and paper towels by the couch along with some water but as soon as he drinks the water he throws up I'm trying to get him to take some medicine but he refuses I haven't taken anything yet today and I'm feeling a little bit better and I know there's been like a stomach bug going around so I'm pretty sure that's what it is but yeah I'm trying to like clean the house as I'm sick and Anthony shouldn't be too long today because the Tuesday hopefully he gets home quickly I kind of want to go to Target and see what I can find for like medicine wise or Rite Aid somewhere for him because they don't have a lot of like stomach things for children um, and the Pepto-Bismol we have are tablets for kids and he won't eat it so I'm trying to find like a liquid and then I'm doing laundry I want to go upstairs and clean his bedroom and sanitize everything I need to sanitize our room and like I need to clean off my bed I do have a bed cover on it um but the mattress topper got kind of messed up so i have to clean that as well but i have my sheet and my pillows sheets in the wash right now because like i said he threw up everywhere <laughs> so yeah um this hasn't even been i think the last time i vlogged was his about his surgery his surgery was on friday it hasn't even been like five days so i'm hoping that like this doesn't have any effect on his ears and I'm kind of nervous, uh, but yeah, we're kind of just chilling here. Lily's on her tablet. Ollie's watching Toy Story, and hopefully he takes another nap. Because again, we've been up all night. It's I'm exhausted. Okay, so I haven't really filmed like at all the rest of the day. We're just not feeling well. Um, I will say that I'm feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. It was bad yesterday. I was at work, and I got sick and I ended up going home and I thought it was like oh I was pregnant or something took a bunch of pregnancy tests and I was like okay that's negative took a bunch well I took one COVID test and they came up negative then this morning Ollie was throwing up so it's just we got the stomach bug and all of us have it Lily's just not feeling well the only one who doesn't have it is Anthony and Anthony normally doesn't get sick so that's pretty good um but yeah, we've been, Ollie took like a nice like three hour nap this morning, I guess from vomiting and like, you know, being up pretty much all night. He was extremely tired. He took a nice nap on the couch. As soon as he got up, we, well, I gave him some water um, and he threw that right back up. So um, we've been just trying to keep him like hydrated. Anthony came home and he brought soup and like soda, like ginger ale and some Pedialyte to keep him hydrated. Um, he has been drinking that since then. He hasn't had any solid foods at all today. It's just liquids and he's throwing out the liquids um, for the last, I think he hasn't thrown up since about one. So he's been pretty good since then. But again, he's like he, taking it really easy with the liquids. Um, but he, yeah, it's pretty bad. He got it all over my couch. And I had to clean that up. Um, and then he got it all over the blanket and the pillow. So I had to clean that up as well. I'm on my last little laundry. I've been doing laundry all day. Because Ollie keeps throwing up on stuff. Um, I have to remake my bed. Because the sheets are now done. Because he threw up on that too. So yeah. It's been kind of a crazy day. Anthony brought home soup like I said. We had some soup. And just relaxed. Anthony had... He got like a lasagna from Target because they have like prepaid, pre-made things at Target and he just bought a lasagna for himself and threw it in the oven. It took like 20 minutes. He said it was pretty good. Whatever. Um, we all had chicken noodle soup except for Ali. He wouldn't eat anything. Again, he's just 
sticking to solids. He's throwing out more than everybody else. Lily's complaining of her throat. We gave her some Tylenol. I threw up yesterday but didn't really take anything. I didn't eat dinner yesterday. I was just trying to stay hydrated after throwing up. I was able to keep down my bagel and my coffee and then I also had some crackers later on today and then the chicken noodle soup so I don't think I'm going to be throwing up anytime soon but honestly it came out of nowhere. It wasn't like oh I'm feeling nauseous all day. I was at the my work gym working out with my friend and as soon as I got off the treadmill my throat was a little itchy and then all of a sudden I was throwing up so it was kind of crazy it wasn't because I was working out or anything I definitely knew my stomach there was something wrong because it was like it wasn't like my normal like oh a little bit it was like everything and I couldn't stop my throat was burning it was bad so I yeah I don't think it was because I was working out and to be honest I was going like very light at the gym it was like at 3.5 the speed and it was at like seven for an incline. I was barely working a sweat. No, it was definitely, it was definitely this. Um, but I'm not nauseous anymore. And like, sometimes I feel a little off, but it's not like that I'm nauseous. I just like, I have a pounding headache and I feel like it's because I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat. Just in case it does like, you know, make me sick. So that's what's been going on. Ollie isn't really eating anything which is fine as long as he's staying hydrated um but yeah that's our day it's been kind of like laid back we've just been like hanging out um i did get to like all my laundry and i did get to like sanitizing the house even though i'll probably have to do it again tomorrow i'm probably gonna stay home with ollie tomorrow um but real quick i wanted to show you guys what i got the kids for easter because i'm having a really hard time with lily um i know easter's like a little less than a month away um and i usually don't do like huge gifts or anything but i do like to customize them for the kids like i like getting them things that they will like other than just candy other than just candy um but i'm having a really hard time with lily um normally i get stuff for like outside and like kitty things bubbles stuff like that that's ollie's like really easy and i'll throw a book in there and then like their easter outfit and ollie's pretty much done but now that lily's getting a little older i feel like i should be getting other things but i will say that i spent a hell of a lot of money on lily for her birthday um which we will not be having a party for so i'll just tell you guys what she got she got a new iphone 13 and in the pink color she wanted um she got a mini fridge for her bedroom which is being shipped it's gonna be here i think next this weekend coming um she got a lounge fly luna love good bag and she got something else what did she get the bag oh she got a pair of chucks white chucks for her birthday so she got four things really pricey things and those are all the things that she got for her birthday. Um, and then for her birthday, like, celebration, we're going to Dave & Buster's. And then the day after, we're going to dinner with my parents. And that is it. That's all she's getting this year. I feel like I go crazy for birthday parties every single year. And it causes me so much stress. And it freaks me out. And I just don't want to do it this year. So, Ollie, we canceled Ollie's birthday a few weeks before his actual birthday because a bunch of people were getting COVID and we didn't want that anywhere near us and just like having that very intimate thing between us and the kids was actually like really fun so i'm just gonna keep it like that for this year i don't know what's gonna happen next year um i don't yeah so we'll see come next year but this year lily's not getting a birthday party also lily's been having birthday parties since she, she was a newborn uh since she was one years old and she's gonna be 12 so i feel like every year is just like an excessive amount of birthday parties um and i'm telling you like this stuff is just not cheap and yeah i'm just overdoing birthday parties for her especially because she's getting older i'm like i kind of feel like she could just like do fun things with her friends like why have a huge party for no reason so yeah that's what lily's getting for her birthday anthony's birthday is this weekend we're doing like crabs for his he wants that for dinner so we're doing like a crab boil for dinner and then i bought him two pairs of sneakers 
and I bought him a new knife set because he wanted it. And what else did I buy him? I bought, I think that's it. So that's all we got. I'll probably go out and get a couple more things because I like to spoil my husband. Uh, but that's pretty much it. But let me get on to like the Easter stuff. Like I said, I'm having a hard time with Lily. I'm thinking of getting like a couple of things of like small jewelry to stick in there. Um, and then I found the wallet that matches her lounge fly bag on Amazon. So I think I might get that as long as it's the lounge fly that it's like actually lounge fly. So I think I might get that as well along with like books and, and her outfit. Um, I did pick out her shirt which is already being shipped to us so hopefully like she actually likes it. Um, I just have to find like bottoms and I already picked up Ollie's top as well. I just have to figure out what the rest of him is going to look like because he only wears sweatpants right now. Okay so the first thing I got Lily is this like little squishmallow, squishmallow thing that I found at Target. Is it Squishmallow? It's two scoops. Two scoops. It's not a Squishmallow. But anyways, I got this for her because she's been collecting those things. Um, I got two of these big things of eggs and I like to color coat the kids in different colors. So I'm going to be doing like green, blue um, for Ollie and then like the other colors for Lily. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. They can have the same like could give Ollie yellow too um but they're bigger than the ones I have the ones I have are pretty small so I can fit like mini pieces of candy along with like dollar bills in these ones the other ones I can only fit like quarters in so I got that for both kids um and if you haven't watched any of my other Easter videos I like to hide these around the house for the kids to like just find um I don't do it outside because I live in Philly <laughs> Um, I bought this for Ollie for outside, just some little water guns, and it's Baby Shark. Um, all of the candy I bought double, so each kid gets one. I bought Hershey eggs. I mean, I bought Hershey bunnies. I also have a bunch of these downstairs, but the um, m and eggs, I put these at the bottom of the baskets. And I don't do the stupid, like fake stuff at the bottom I just stick the candy in because I feel like that's just a waste of time and space and it's annoying um so that's why I can put the jelly beans and the eggs at the bottom um I got two things of the Reese eggs I got Ollie some egg chalk which I found from like the dollar section I think but I also picked up a huge box of chalk that was in like the coloring section because now Target now has it available. I picked up this egg for Lily because it's like push pops and like bring pops and stuff and Lily likes those. And then I picked up this Baby Yoda one for Ollie which has like gummies in it. I picked up some balloons for Ollie, his favorite thing to do during the summer. Some jumbo crayons. And then the last thing I picked up is this mess for a bluey coloring book because he's really obsessed with bluey right now. And to be honest, I love bluey too, um, but I love the mess for because it's just so simple. Um, Ollie loves coloring with markers, but he wants to do it on the rug and he's he never puts the lid back on and that just gets everywhere. So that's what I've gotten so far. And to be honest, I don't buy a lot of candy. I'm gonna stick to the basics. And that's it. Um, I do have more for Ollie than I do have for Lily. Like I said, I pretty much only have one thing for her. I'm still trying to figure out books. Ollie's at that weird stage where he can't really read, but the baby books are just not it anymore. He doesn't like sitting through those. So I have to find more like better, like better books that still will keep him interested with like the illustrations. So if you have any recommendations for books and for Easter stuff for an almost 12 year old, actually she'll be 12 by the time Easter shows up, but let me know. <laughs> and like I said, I don't like going crazy for Easter because it's a small holiday, it's not Christmas, it's not their birthday. I don't, I should not be spending a hundred million dollars on Easter gifts. <laughs> I like to keep it simple, but like I said, I would like to do a little, like some bigger things for Lily because she is older. Um, but yeah, this is Easter. I will be buying some extra eggs for Anthony. And 
that's it. Honestly, we don't really like doing big things on Easter, but we got invited to like my family's Easter gathering. It started last year, so we'll be going to that. Um, and that's not my cousin's house, so I will not be recording that either. Um, I will be recording like the day before, maybe the morning of Easter, so you guys can see like the kids doing their Easter baskets and stuff. But we don't like doing like big things like I don't know people like buy like huge bikes and stuff we're just not like that we like to keep it small for easter i might even stick like poppets in their 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 baskets because they like that um and i reuse the baskets i've had lily's basket since i met anthony so maybe six years yeah i've had her basket for six years and then i got all these when he was born so they're down the basement i just have to pull them out so yeah that's the easter stuff and yeah i'm just i have to do my bed and i'm regretting it i don't want to do it so i might have anthony do this and then i'm probably gonna end this video because i'm guys i have a pounding headache i'm like in a terrible mood and nobody wants to watch this i swear these videos are gonna get better once i stop dying <laughs> also i bought a new camera um that will be in on this like this weekend i invested in a brand new camera because my camera is starting to mess up it will randomly shut off it starts doing like a random yellow flashing thing saying that it's overheating and i've had my camera for four four years four years and it's starting to go on me which i'm pretty sad about because i love this camera and i was trying to get the i have the g g7x2 and i wanted to get the g7x3 but they did not have it so i ended up getting a totally different camera and i'm kind of nervous about it and to be honest if i don't like it i am going to invest in the other one instead because i am like <sighs> really nervous about this so if you see a change in my quality or anything like that that is why i got a new camera and i'm investing in myself i also got an external hard drive because mama needed it i'm tired of like deleting everything and not having any of my footage anymore because it doesn't fit on my camera or my um sd card so i'm investing in my business yay guys um i will do an unboxing of my camera when it comes in over the weekend so yeah i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below i answer every single comment i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys